Jeff, congratulations on being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you. I have a few question I'm gonna ask, questions I'm going to ask you about your background. Okay. I'd like to start off by asking you, what individuals have had the greatest influence on you and your wrestling career? Well, to start off with uh, California Community College coach, I had Hal Semenek. Hal was uh, what I would call the great communicator. Everybody that wrestled for him, he could convince you to do anything. He could lie to you and then come back and convince you that he's telling the truth again right after lying to you. So he's just a great communicator. Uh, Doug Blueball, who was the, my coach at Michigan State, he was the assistant coach. He was the one that swapped sweat with me every day and beat up on me for a while. And then we got to go nose to nose afterwards. But yeah. it was a good lesson for me. And uh, Grady Penninger had a great impact oh, on me yeah. also. So those would be the three yeah. biggest. Uh, Jeff, who is your uh, idol or who was your idol? Well, that, that probably would have changed as it started with my big brother when I was little. But in wrestling, a guy that beat the heck out of me named Dan Brand, uh, he gave me my first lesson on uh, how to bridge. <laughs> and then I got to work out with him for a summer up in uh, Alamosa, Colorado. And I grew greatly just by getting to be pounded pounding with him every day. He was he was something else. Later on when I went to Michigan State, a guy named Dale Anderson. Dale was a two time national champion for Michigan State. Oh, okay. A small hundred and thirty seven pounder and kinda kicked me in the tail and got me going because I was used to having a coach kick me in the tail to get us going and all of a sudden there's no one there at Michigan State. You ran on your own, you did this on your own. And Dale was up at six o'clock every morning running. And once I found out he was, I'd get up and run with him and kind of followed in his footsteps. And he was a good person to lead me. He was a two-time national champion and a 4.0 student. I never, I was runner up and I was a mediocre student. So <laughs> I was far behind him. <laughs> Jeff, how'd you get started in wrestling? Well, actually, uh, my older brother just wrestled for a real short time. And then I was playing football, and they had dropped wrestling my freshman year, so I didn't get to wrestle, so I was playing some other sports. And the football coach kind of suggested for me to start wrestling that it helped me out with my coordination. And also, there's just a couple of rules thrown in, and it'd get me medals for what I was getting in trouble for. So it helped me out in my life. So, <laughs> And that's I followed it, and I made that my career was wrestling. What do you attribute your success in wrestling to? I think the biggest thing, I, I had some great parents leading the way for me, giving me direction, some great coaching, and um, taught me a work ethic that I think I always tried to outwork everybody that I wrestled. So if someone did beat me, they had to prepare harder than I did, and I, I felt that all through my life. I always thought it was a mistake when someone beat me, <laughs> and if you don't think that, then you're barking up the wrong tree, I think, because I think uh, you got to keep striving, trying to get to that next level, and so that's where I was at. I, I never thought someone was better than me, and that, that's where it came from, the work ethic. Is there one outstanding situation or memory that you have about wrestling, involving wrestling? Probably. Uh, if I go to a match, it would be the match against uh, Michigan State and Michigan uh, for the Big Ten dual meet title. And uh, Michigan had beaten us for the previous two years before I got to Michigan State. And nobody really knew who I was. And I had to wrestle a returning national champion. And that was the first and only time that he ever got pinned. And the pitcher's in the Hall of Fame. And he still hates me to this day because it's in about four restaurants in Lansing. And, oh, okay. and that's got to be probably. They carried me around on their shoulders after the match is over. Starting with Greg Jan Johnson, our 115-pounder, picked me up and carried me around. And then said, what the heck am I doing under here? But uh, They carried me around for about 20 minutes. And so it was, it was a pretty exciting deal. 10,000 people in the stands is, is a neat deal. Why did you decide to become a wrestling coach? 
Well, actually, I had a dual major in college. I was uh, business edu I was business, and then I changed it to business education, and I was uh, physical education. And I kept looking at myself sitting behind the desk all day, and I couldn't see myself doing that. So I wanted to do something physical and active. Kind of felt I needed to pay back to the sport for what it had supplied for me. And uh, that's probably the main reason. It taught me more than any other sport that I was involved with. I played football, I ran track, played a little bit, bit of basketball before I started wrestling. And uh, wrestling was the biggest influence on me. It taught me more self-discipline and other things. And so I wanted to convey that to some other people and see if I could help them. Great. If you could start all over again, what would you do differently as a coach or as a wrestler? You know, I've thought about this. I was actually just interviewed by the paper because I'm getting ready to retire, and they kind of asked me the same question. And I can't really think of much of that change. I went through the school of hard knocks. I believe in the school of hard knocks. I get nose to nose with people. Um, I've had six discs in my neck worked on, and I don't think I'd change a thing. I said I'd do it all over again just because uh, the success I had and the fun that I had and the friendships I developed through wrestling was all worth it. So. Okay. What would you like people to remember about you? Well, number one is that I had a work ethic that was above most. I don't think many people worked harder than I did. And uh, I think my, it rubbed off on my kids. I think it rubbed off on my athletes. And, uh, and I think it's still there. My coaches, I'm an athletic director right now. And my coaches have been just coming up and begging me to stay and I, it's time for me to retire. But, um, and they all talk, there's no one to replace me with my work ethic at as many activities as I'm at, doing as much for them as what I've been doing. So I, I want them to remember my work ethic. I want them to remember that I was fair. Um, anytime I had my athletes come to me, I wanted to make sure that they understood that I was straight and that I was fair and that I would treat everybody the same. If you cheated on a run, you might have to run with me the next couple of days and have me bump you all the way around and get you going and uh, set you straight that nobody cheats. You don't get there by cheating. So I think that's the two things, the fairness and the work ethic. Jeff, in ending, how did wrestling con contribute to your life? Well, number one, it provided me with, again, back to the work ethic. Number two, it gave me a livelihood. Um, I made a very good life for me and my family. Um, I taught at high school. I taught at uh, the college level, community college, and uh, it supplied me with a great livelihood. And now I'm an athletic director at a community college and still contributing to wrestling. I kept my name in there as the wrestling advisor, and I try to do a lot of things for my coach. Coaches, I should say. Um, I think that's probably the biggest thing that it did. It, it really provided things for me, and I've been trying to do the same thing back to my athletes and giving them some suggestions. For every state champion I had, I think I had uh, probably five people who became successful in life, whether they're doctors, lawyers, uh, engineers. I got all levels. Matter of fact, a couple of lawyers helped me out a couple of times when I was looking at Title IX. I had them call and do a little report for me. So I, uh, it's been real good. And the kids have stepped back up for me and been there for me as I tried to be there for them. So that's, that's it. Yeah. That's wonderful. Jeff, again, congratulations on being inducted in the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. And thank you for your many contributions to wrestling. Thank you.